Okay, so this is Hope Kaya of SantaFeWebDesign.net, and this is a short tutorial on internal linking within a Joomla website when you're working from the front end for search engines, so that search engines like your site better. So the most important thing is that you've already logged in, and you need a login link on your website. Uh, and this is a Joomla 2.5.2 site, uh, but it, this should work on any Joomla site with front-end editing. Once you've logged into the front end of your site, you'll see a little pencil that says Edit Article. And we're going to click on that, but I want to show you what our intentions are first. The Goodbye Baby, a diary about adoption, has a really good keyword phrase in it, which is about adoption. A lot of people are searching for about adoption. And this is fortunately in the title of the book. And we want to link to the book that's on this website with this phrase. And I'll show you that page, books, and I recommend that you go to adoptionstory.us and read all about this. Okay, so The Goodbye Baby, A Diary About Adoption. That's the title of this web page. And you can tell also that this page is optimized for about adoption because you can see up here at the very top of your screen that it's got about adoption in it. In fact, this title matches this title here. And that's great that they both have about adoption in it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is link um, from about Elaine. We're going to link the Goodbye Baby, a diary about adoption to that page. So we're going to log in by clicking on the little pencil icon that shows up when you are logged in via the front end of Joomla. And I've clicked on the pencil and it's going to slowly, 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 slowly open so that we can see all of our icons. And the icons that we're going to see are there because I've installed JCE Content Editor, which I highly, highly recommend that you use. So those icons are about to show up. I've got a slow connection today. And we'll wait for those icons to show up. Hmm. Yes, I think it's because I'm making this video. Here we go. Okay, so we've got our little icons. Now we're going to link the, this phrase, the goodbye baby, a diary about adoption to the page on this website that is about that book. So when you have JCE Content Editor installed, and it's free until you start adding some extra plugins, which cost a tiny bit, and I recommend it, um, you will see this little link icon, and you can click on the link icon and wait for this dialog box to open. And now we're going to go into Content, and we've got all the books listed in the category of Books. So I clicked on content and now I'm clicking on books and then there are different ways to get where you're going. Usually you can get where you're going via content if one of your pages is in a category, if the page you're linking to is in a category. Otherwise it might be you would go to the menu, um, the menu item that links to that page. But in this case we know that all of our books are in the books category so we're going to go to the Goodbye Baby by clicking on it and being very patient because we have a slow connection which is honoring us in, f in honor of making a video. I'm going to try it one more time. Ah, I see what I have to do. Sorry. Insert. All right. See how the Goodbye Baby is now a link, a diary about adoption? The important thing about this is that we've got a keyword phrase about adoption which has many people searching for it, linking to a page that's optimized for that phrase. Um, we could also link the other ones of these books, Santa Fe Trail by Bicycle. That would be a good one because I'm sure some people are still searching for that information. So we'll, we'll highlight Santa Fe Trail by Bicycle. We'll click on the link icon. We'll go to Content, Books, the Santa Fe Trail by Bicycle, and Insert. That one now is a link, you can tell. Sometimes your editor isn't going to show you this link. Um, in this case it does, but 
if you, you, you need to roll your cursor over it sometimes to see if an underline shows up. Okay, from Calcutta with love. We'll link to that too. It's always good to link to different pages on your site, even if the keywords aren't great. You know, because maybe not too many people are searching for from Calcutta with love, but um, or the Beast of Bengal because they they may not know about it yet, as opposed to about adoption. A lot of people are searching for that, but still, it's good to do a link to the different pages of your site whenever you reference content on that site. So we just went through those same steps again. And um, I think here it says the goodbye baby, and I'm going to once again say um, a diary about adoption. Um, and I'm going to link that. Highlight, link, content, books, the goodbye baby, insert. All right, so I'm going to save this and we're going to look at the website live. When you save in the front end, you often get a message that says article successfully saved. The rest of the world cannot see that message. Only you can see that message. And um, now you can see all these links are here and we can test them. And I recommend that you do test them by clicking on them and make sure you go to the right page. Um, and as you blog, this is really important. As you blog, you want to be thinking about what you're writing about in relation to your website, the other pages on your website. And we did this link here, the Goodbye Baby, a Diary about Adoption. This website is adoptionstory.us. And there are a lot of people searching for adoption story. So we want to be including the phrase adoption story. Um, and we want to link it to, um, we have to decide where we want to link the phrase adoption, where we want to put the phrase adoption story, and where we want to link it to. Um, you might, you know what, we, sh we should link it to the book. So as you write about, I'm going to make a little change on this page here. And I mean, we have some edits, obviously, that need to be done here. Uh, but my journey has been one of searching for who I really am, of my adoption story. I'm just making this up right now. Uh, and I'm going to highlight uh, adoption story, and I'm going to click on the link, and I'm going to go to the book again for that story. Um, and we will want to include the phrase adoption story in that book description as well so that that search engines really like this particular link. So now we're going to save this. We're going to go to the blog again. We're actually at the blog and now we have adoption story linking to the book Goodbye Baby, A Diary About Adoption. And in this, we want her to put adoption story somewhere in this text. So I hope you're getting the idea. You're going to be using phrases uh, to link to other pages on your site that are already optimized for that phrase, that ideally. And if they're not, you want to optimize them by putting that phrase like, um, for instance, see this where it says the goodbye baby, a diary about adoption up here? Um, it also says the same thing here. That's the title of this page. So you can change the titles of your page um, and, and add phrases like adoption story. You might do a blog post about an adoption story. My adoption story would be a great blog post. Um, so you want to have adoption story in the titles and you want to be in some at least one or two titles of your website. Um, we already have done a lot with about adoption, which is the other keyword phrase we have that's very important, but you need to do a little bit more with adoption story. So when you have phrases that your ideal customer is searching for, you need them to be in the title tags of certain pages, you obviously need them in the domain name, and you want to be linking to them uh, from different pages on your site 
uh, so that the Google really pays attention to you and considers you high value when somebody's searching for that particular phrase. Again, this is Hope Kaya of SantaFeWebDesign.net, uh, and this is a tutorial on linking internally in Joomla when you do front-end editing in a way that search engines like. Have fun.